Hi, I'm Rich from Trapping Inc. TV. Last winter, you saw me uh, use the, the Range Road wood processor to do a bunch of birch. Well, this is the next iteration in, in that lineage. This is the next uh, model that has come out. This is the EcoPro 300. And there's a couple of things that are obvious right off the bat. Is They've got this neat belt infeed table, and the conveyor belt is now 10 inches wide instead of 6. There's a bunch of other features that have changed as well. I'm going to put it to work here over the next couple of days. I've got a bunch of uh, white poplar here that I've taken off of uh, around my, my yard site here. Sandy has a list and anytime a tree pops a dead branch or a yellow leaf or whatever, they go on the list and that means that this is a done deal for them. I gotta tell you, the girl's scary. I don't even limp around her. I'm afraid of making the list. <laughs> well, let's put it to work. Well, that's the end of day one. That's yeah, looking pretty good. <laughs> Made a little sawdust anyway. Okay, well, let's take a look at a, of a few things that are new on the unit, other than the, the cool new paint job, right? <laughs> the first is our emergency stop, and it has an hour meter on the side. Those are great additions. 
The second is this infeed, the uh, belt infeed here, and it's adjustable, which means that we can adjust the angle by adjusting this, uh, the bolt on the end of this, so that you can get some uh, adjustment as far as up or down on, on the end of it, so that you line up with the with the infeed off of your your table. That is a great feature. It, uh, it added a lot of uh, a lot of ease in getting the logs up there and another thing that added a lot of ease was this now uh, Range Road makes and sells these and when uh, Rich handed it to me it says you know it might help you give you a tug when you've you've got those bumps those knots those warts on the side of the trees and they hang up and they make it uh, not want to go into your machine it's nice and easy and I looked at it and it doesn't have a lot of weight it doesn't didn't impress me at all <laughs> it is an awesome tool it really, really worked well. I mean, you can just take and give it a tap and then she sticks in and you give it a pull and it helps you move those logs along a ton, okay? Really good thing. Other new features, uh, we have a claw here for holding things in place while, while we're, we're cutting. Absolutely uh, very useful. I, I have a big tendency to use my hand, but this gives you a lot more uh, leverage especially when you get down into your into the shorter ends right our saw blade here uh, we have a uh, a return shock now rather than the spring that we had before much more positive return so your blade doesn't just sit a little bit here and and, the, and uh, your chain keep turning if that happens nothing else will function there's an automatic block out on on your your ram it won't move forward or back if the chain is turning. Another feature that, that, that's available is that you can get a still chain and chainsaw. You give up two inches of length on your, on your, uh, on your blade though. And uh, personally, when you got that 15 horse motor, this has the 15 horse quarter on it, driving that, uh, that chain, whether it's a steel chain or an Oregon chain doesn't make any difference to me. Like, I mean, you can really lean on it. You see in some of the, the features where I got both hands on it, I'm giving on it because you're using a 15 horse motor and man, can you cut stuff, let me tell you. We have the same adjustments back here for, for as far as our, our splitting goes. A nice improvement has been the heavier bolts on your length adjustment. It, uh, I never had to readjust, not once. Before it had uh, much smaller and they were uh, wing nuts and they would loosen up all the time. And it was, it was kind of frustrating. This never adjusted once in the whole load. Big feature change, 10 inch conveyor. Super, super impressed with this. It moves a lot of big material and, and in a big hurry. Uh, I can't uh, say enough about uh, how big of an improvement that is. Uh, the six inch stuff, especially with the, you know, we had a six inch conveyor before and with the size of stuff, whether it's the, the birch or the poplar that I do, uh, I had, you know, log jams, that kind of stuff. And it, it took a little bit of sorting to get it out. This, this takes and, and flings it up over in no, no problem at all. So here's another new feature, one that I really like, especially up here for us guys in the cold. You see this valve here? By closing this valve off, you, you uh, shut off any uh, hydraulic fluid going to your conveyor, so you start your machine under, under no load. And you can also vary the speed of your conveyor by how much you open it, okay? Very nice, nice feature that is. Another tweak on the new unit is on your chain lube here. You've got a on-off switch on your valve, but you've also got a trickle adjustment here, so rather than trying to just get this just set right, you can set this, this trickle here. And every time, as soon as you open it, you're, you're getting the right amount of lube on your chain. Saves you a lot of lube. All right, 15 horse Kohler, electric start. Uh, choke and your, and your uh, fuel controls, everything's right here. This is your, your idle. Uh, what do you say about a Kohler engine? Um, I did all of this wood. I don't know how many cords I got here. Uh, two, two tanks, I, f I fueled up just with about a log and a half left to go. So basically two tanks of fuel to, to cut all that. Uh, not only puts out the power, it's pretty thrifty on the fuel as well. Okay, once again, we have our battery here, our uh, 
fill cap for for the the tank which is down here in the frame for a hydraulic tank or sight glasses here been a little bit of changes done to the hydraulic system on this and what it's done is that it's increased the overall hydraulic pressure a little change to the pump and the and the plumbing it's it's kept a, a higher sustained uh, hydraulic pressure in there so even though it's rated for 20 tons worth of, of splitting force it's actually more like 27 tons it uh, is very very comparable to that uh, 27 ton that I have and it, it never once has to take a second run at anything our connection center, all done with quick couplers and that. You can connect in a, a lifter or you can operate without a lifter. It, it's all just done by the by uh, which way you plug in your hoses. Uh, up and down controls. It's a nice system. It's it's slick. It, it uh, is a, a feature that's so far above uh, what you expect out of this price range uh, of splitter. I like it. Well, that's my review on the Eco Pro 300 wood processor from Range Road. I'm a tool guy. I work stuff hard. I break a lot of stuff. If it won't stand up to me, what good is it? The new unit here not only has a cool new color scheme, it's got some serious features that really add to it. Add to its usability and its value. Yet at the same reliability and quality and value for the buck that we've come to expect from Range Road. You can check it out at the local dealer or online at range-road.com.